Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful week and that you're still enjoying working and building uh, apps with Plotly and Dash. Um, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Dash image annotation component and the Dash canvas component to actually um, add buttons to your graph that um, allows you to um, draw on the graph itself, right? There is a uh, here we have several buttons: a, a line button, we have an open open draw button, we have a closed draw button, closed form button, um, and a circle that we can add. And same thing here below. Instead of a plot, we have an image, and in the image we also have a few buttons like a line or an open form, um, and so on and so on. Um, you can also have an erase button, so we can choose the the shape and we can erase it, or we can choose the shape and we can play around with it and, and, and reshape it however we want, just by choosing it. Let's choose this circle, like this. Oops, choose this one and just move it around, like that. Or we can erase it like this. So this is uh, really cool because it adds a lot of. Um, uh, you're giving the user of your application um, an opportunity to to make notes or draw on their plot and on their image and this is something that uh, is done a lot in the financial industry uh, medical industry uh, probably astronomy I'm, I'm guessing they will probably use this a lot if they want to draw between the stars um, but I'm not sure and uh, and then we have the dash canvas dash canvas is another component right here that is more like a freestyle um, opportunity to take notes or draw things you have the back button you have the forward button and uh, you also have the select button here where you can select a shape you can make it thicker you can turn it you can move it you can turn it around put it in a different place or you can draw a rectangle zoom in zoom out and so on and so on I'll move the whole canvas and this is also you can do that with images you can see here on the dash documentation the canvas documentation you can uh, draw a line and then it'll give you the fourth row if you save it it'll give you the coordinates of that line as well um, so so pretty powerful stuff that you can do with uh, dash and I'm going to show you right now how to create this app and how to add these buttons or other buttons to your image annotation component or to your dash canvas you can also change the color of the canvas uh, pencil to different color you can change it with with a simple callback so let's do how, let's see how we do this right now um, I would uh, recommend downloading uh, if you want to follow along you can download this um, file from my dash components just I'm going to add this link under the video go into image annotation canvas go into image and uh, an a and an OT um, copy this code and just add it to your Python file just create a new Python file call it whatever you want and then just run it okay um, all right so assuming you have this open for this to work on your computer you have to make sure uh, or you have to download um, install sorry dash install dash bootstrap components this is for the layout um, dash canvas this is for this canvas right here uh, dash DAC, which is going to be our color picker, and then install pandas, um, and then we're going to install uh, scikit image and uh, pooch uh, just for the demo data. If you're not using this demo de demo data right here for the image, then you don't need to install um, scikit image. Okay, so here are the few buttons that we're going to add to our graphs, uh, but in one minute I'm going to show you uh, the other buttons that you can add to it as well. So as you can see here, we're downloading the data, the skin data from Scikit Image, and then we're putting this uh, data into the Plotly Express Image Show um, plot, and uh, we're choosing the the, the initial um, button to be selected as the draw close path button. So if I refresh the app, you'll see this is the initial um, button that's selected. If we change this, if you click on this control, you'll see the uh, all the different types of um, buttons that you can you can choose to use you can choose to use let's say um, um, I don't know select and if you choose select then the initial button is going to be the the select um, button here 
And then we're building the line chart. And in the light chart, you see, we're just downloading the data from uh, New Jersey health data uh, of late stage uh, female breast cancer. And then we're putting all this data into the Plotly Express. We're going to pl plot it on a scatter plot uh, using this data, the year on the y axis, the rates per 100,000 females on the, y, on the y axis, the year on the x axis, and then color is going to be uh, race, right? So that's how we get this. And then we're going to start our app, and then we're going to put everything inside a container. So all these four uh, components and the you know uh, title here is going to be inside our app layout. Fluid true, meaning there's no gutters, nothing in on the sides, no space on the sides. And this is a simple callback at the very, very end. You can just copy paste. This callback is what connects between the color picker value to the line color on the dash canvas. All right, we'll go over that in a, f in, in, in a few minutes. So as you can see here in the layout, we have our title, H1, it's a header. And then we have our row. And in this first, we have two rows, this row right here and this row right here, only two rows. In the first row, we're going to put um, a sc the scatter, uh, Plotly Express scatter plot inside the dash core component graph. So this is going to, the scatter plot is right here. And in here, you can see that we're going to um, change or add buttons to the, um, inside the config property. So the buttons are going to be the key value of the mode uh, bar buttons to add. Um, and these buttons, as you can see here from, if you remember, these are the buttons that we're adding, right? So we're not adding them to the Plotly scatter plot. We're adding them to the component graph, right? Um, now let's see if you want to see other buttons that you can add. Just go to the dash graph component. You can click here DCC graph, or you can just go into the dash core components. Go to the graph component right here, and then at the very bottom you'll see um, different buttons that you could add all of these like add or remove these are the most common buttons but if you want to see more buttons just just click on this link open this and you'll see here a bunch of other buttons that you can add some of these buttons are better for 2d graphs some of them are better for 3d graphs um, so you can choose and you know add all of them and see and see what each button does and if you need it for your graph. So there's really a lot of buttons here uh, that you know I don't even know all the buttons, but <laughs> I'm excited to to test them out and see what they can all do. So these are the, and and then if you want to add them, just add them here inside this list, which goes inside here, right? Assigned to the mode buttons to add. Um, and we're doing the exact same thing these buttons we're adding them inside the second row where we're putting the image you see this image that we built on top with the skin data um, is going inside the dash uh, graph component and we're adding these buttons we're adding the exact same buttons right here right and this allows us to do these kind of cool things um, to zoom in uh, and to um, and to draw I'm going to draw a circle right here uh, open source one circle right here and so on and so on okay let's zoom back out okay um, so these are the buttons that you can add to the to to a dash core component um, graph in the canvas dash canvas which is right here which belongs to the um, dash canvas library don't forget to install it um, you have different properties I chose ID, we're going to use that later potentially. Tool is going to be a pencil, so we have this pencil. Or um, line tool, I guess, comes automatically. The line width is three, so you can see this is not very thick. Um, and the line color is none because we are going to use the callback to change the color, right? So, um, which I'll show you in a second. So, what are other properties? You can do control left click on here in PyCharm, and you go on top here just above and you'll see all the different properties that you can use inside of the canvas so for example you can say the width of the canvas you can say how much zoom you want it um, the default zoom scale this is scale between the canvas and the image so if you have like an image behind uh, the canvas you can actually scale it um, another property is uh, a tool so we put pencil but you can use uh, pan or rectangle or select uh, you can have all these uh, 
tools. I think you can actually put them inside a list and you can have multiple tools, right? Um, last one, well, there's a few more here. Um, you can also have the line uh, color and line width, right? By default, this is 10 and this is red. So we chose to put line color and because we're going to connect this line color to the callback. You don't have to put line color, you don't have to declare it here, but I am putting this here just for tutorial purposes so you can see this better. What I'm doing here, I'm connecting between the color picker, right here you see the initial value is this hex, if you refresh you'll see 119DF, 119DF, this is the initial value, um, and I'm taking this, I'm, this is all in the callback. I'm going to take the value that is chosen. This is a component property. I'm going to take this value as the input, which is right here. And I'm going to return this like this or like this. It doesn't matter. I'm going to return this. Anything that you return in the callback always returns to the component property of the output. So uh, we're returning this value to we're assigning this value to the line color of my canvas and my line color of my canvas is right here so we are returning this value like this right here whoops like this but this is interactive so you don't want to put value there this is whatever value is chosen so if i choose this value right here then this is actually right what is returned and this is actually this and this returns right here, line color. Because that's the that is the component property of the output. So now if I draw, now I have a different color. Right? Let's go to red, purple, let's go back. Let's choose like, like this color pink. Draw that. And like I said before, you can change it, you can move it around. Let's see, zoom out like this, you can control the width or the shape of it and so on and so on. So this is a simple callback to connect between this and this, the, the color picker and the canvas. You can also add a callback to connect between the canvas and the width of the, of the line, width of the pencil. So they show how you can go here in a dash canvas and I think somewhere down here you can see how to do that, they show it. Um, but it's pretty simple, all they're actually doing is um, we're adding a, um, uh, what do you call that, a slider, let's say from 1 to 20, and the value of the slider, which is going to be returned here, returns, instead of the line color, it's assigned to the line width. So you just put line width right here, like that, and uh, the value will be the value of the slider, and then if the user chose 4, the line width will be 4, if the user chose 10, then the line width would be 10, which would make this just a lot thicker when the user is drawing, you see? All right, um, one last thing, uh, for those who are my members and that are support supporting the content that I provide on YouTube, thank you very much. I also created um, this uh, for you, this um, save canvas right here. If we run it, you'll see that we can actually allow the user to download whatever they draw on on the canvas. Zoom in, this looks like a Chinese letter, um, character, download the canvas, click on this, go here, and we'll see that we have a download canvas. Um, so just go into the GitLab uh, that I'm going to put, um, uh, I can share with you, I'll share on, on Patreon, and uh, you'll see the code uh, that I, I write up here. Thank you very much, uh, everybody, for watching. I hope um, this enlarges your uh, universe of uh, knowledge within Dash. Now that you know about the image annotation and the canvas, um, play around with it, have fun, uh, give your make your applications uh, user friendly and very interactive. And um, that's it. Uh, have a wonderful week. Um, always remember, we're better together, so help each other out. Until later, bye bye.